Fellow citizens and residents, the Ministry of Tourism, in collaboration with the St. Kitts Tourism Authority and other tourism stakeholders, is proud to be celebrating yet another Tourism Awareness Month over the period 1st to the 30th November 2016, under the theme Tourism Education, Connectivity and Sustainability. This period also coincides with the celebration of Caribbean Tourism Month, thus creating a louder voice in the region, reminding us all that tourism is everyone's business. The tourism sector is widely acknowledged as the major engine of economic growth and social development in the Federation. Employing approximately 25% of the nation's workforce, and contributing directly or indirectly to the nation's gross domestic product, the GDP, by 25.5% according to the World Travel and Tourism Council. Throughout this month, the Ministry of Tourism and the St. Kitts Tourism Authority have planned a variety of events and activities to highlight the fact that the tourism sector is vitally important to our country and that we all need to better understand, to support, to protect tourism as one of the key drivers of our economy. This year's campaign will focus on stakeholder meetings, workshops, a photo competition and exhibition, talks in the primary and secondary schools, community outreach programs, an ecotourism and heritage health walk, and a student's field trip to name a few activities. As a ministry, we have planned and committed to providing a consistently outstanding visitor experience through the sustainable development of our human, natural and cultural resources in order to maximize opportunity, prosperity and the quality of life for present and future generations. But how will we accomplish these goals? We have the natural beauty and continue to improve our product and our facilities. We must now consistently continue to improve our human resource and our skills-based training initiatives. Our education and training are critical in order to improve our service standards that will result in the delivery of exceptional experiences. Visitors to St. Kitts and Nevis spend in excess of EC $500 million in our economy every single year. This expenditure creates and supports thousands of jobs and spreads direct and indirect benefits throughout our economy. Tourism is indeed key to the continued growth and development of our economy. And we all need to make a conscious effort to keep abreast of what is happening in the tourism industry. Other sectors of our economy are impacted by tourism, such as agriculture, local fisheries, handicrafts, entertainment, real estate, creative designs, engineering, and construction. Tourism has therefore become important to all of us in some form or some fashion. That is why it is important that individually and collectively we all work to understand the various facets of our tourism industry. The Ministry of Tourism has embarked on a decidedly people-oriented approach to tourism sector development with emphasis on service, on training and on education. This strategic approach emphasizes community outreach, paying particular attention to grassroots leadership, and it also targets our learning institutions, since this is where we can meaningfully engage our potential and future labor force. Let me use this opportunity to congratulate our Junior Minister of Tourism, Ms. Danira Hodge of the Washington Archibald High School, 
for placing fourth in the Caribbean Tourism Organization's regional competition. At that forum, she spoke on the importance of social media in marketing the destination. I hope all of us will get the opportunity to see her in action during Tourism Awareness Month. Our youth are critical to a sustainable, vibrant, dynamic tourism industry. So we continue to endorse and to participate in a number of programs that are youth focused. They include the recently launched Tourism Education Awareness Program being piloted in four of our learning institutions at the Dr. William Connor and Sandy Point Primary Schools, at the Basti High School and at AVEC. Officers from the Ministry of Tourism are working with teachers to roll out the program and more particularly at the Dr. William Primary School, a tourism club has recently been formed. And these students will benefit from a tour of our tourism plant in preparation for a composition on their experience. We are fine-tuning at the moment plans for introducing the network of excellence for tourism, training and education which we will see at the CFBC partnering with eight other OECS territories to deliver a world-class program designed to supply a cadre of competent professionals who are equipped to provide the high quality and diversified service demanded by an evolving tourism product. All of these initiatives and more are part of government's pro-people approach to tourism sector development and are intended to translate into youth inclusion and capacity building, entrepreneurship and employment so our citizens are empowered and equipped to deliver a quality, authentic and uniquely Kitishan experience that will add value and differentiate us from other destinations. It is known throughout the world that Kittitians are naturally friendly and always eager to help. This is extremely important because how we, are, how we treat our guests impacts on the success of our tourism industry. A simple smile or a greeting can go a long way in making our visitors feel welcome in our country. Our guests expect that we are peaceful and that we are a safe country and that our destination will provide for them a valuable and effective retreat from the daily stresses of their cities and their towns from whence they would have originated. In exchange, our visitors are prepared to pay for us the value they receive and the personal enrichment that they feel during their visit. Whether our guests come here as hotel guests, whether they are in condominiums or in villas, or as cruise passengers, or as international students, and faculty at the offshore universities. No matter where they come from, we must demonstrate that the people of St. Kitts and Nevis are happy to be their hosts. And that is why customer service of a very high standard is so important. And that is why presently the St. Kitts Tourism Authority is embarking on a nationwide program to host customer service training for all our frontline employees in the industry. Tourism frontline workers, from waiters, from the taxi operators, tour guides, the hair braiders, the front desk staff, provide services directly to the tourists. And in many ways, these employees are central to a sustainable tourism industry for they play a major role in affecting the experiences visitors have in St. Kitts. We continue to receive numerous accolades with respect to the product that we offer in the destination in general. During 2016, we were ranked in the top 10 for the best islands in the world. 
best Caribbean vacations, best beach and honeymoon destination in the world, and emerging luxury destination in 2016, in addition to being ranked number one for the best Caribbean honeymoons. In June of this year, we celebrated with the St. Kitts Music Festival family its 20th anniversary. To date, the reviews and the media attention we have garnered has been extraordinary. Even as we receive these accolades and awards, we constantly remind ourselves that there is always room for improvement. We cannot be complacent if we intend to remain competitive. My fellow citizens, we must all be proud of our tourism industry. St. Kitts is indeed the ideal vacation getaway. Open your eyes and look around. From village to village, town to town, we are surrounded by lush green vegetation, brilliant mountain views. Our beaches are spectacular. We have more than 240 inventoried historical sites, such as Brimston Hill Fortress National Park, our Spooners Ginnery, to name a, a few. These are ours to protect and to cherish and to develop in a sustainable way so that generations to come will also be able to reap the benefit. The McKnight community embraced the idea of community tourism and they spearheaded the McKnight on the rise beautification project earlier this year and they have begun to make a difference in their community by adopting a space for beautification and for recreation. Our Rails to Trails project is yet another avenue for community development. And so in the months ahead, you will certainly hear more about this outreach initiative that seeks to take tourism to the communities at a very different level. The Heart of St. Kitts Foundation and Sustainable Charter was launched in February of this year. The charter is used as a tool for tourism enterprises to tell their sustainability story while the foundation has been created mainly as a travel philanthropy program which resources and the funding for sustainable tourism development project in St. Kitts. So far, these projects have successfully engaged 50 stakeholders from both the public and the private sectors on collaborative action planning for destination management. The implementation of this Sustainable Tourism Professional Certification Program in 2013 resulted in over 30 public and private sector destination stakeholders graduating from the program and earning the title Destination Guardians. The United Nations World Tourism Organization has declared 2017 as the International Year of Tourism for Sustainable Development in keeping with its recently revised MDGs, where tourism now has a more prominent place. A sustainable tourism conference is proposed during this year-long celebration to highlight St. Kitts and its work and the work being undertaken in destination stewardship. This is our tourism development in action. We must be proud of our island. We must be proud of our heritage and our culture. Fellow citizens, now is the time to educate yourselves on the opportunities that are available. People are at the heart of this industry. We must be committed to delivering exceptional service and to creating unforgettable experiences that will continue to impress our visitors so they become our ambassadors on their return home. Every single month should be Tourism Awareness Month. Yes, our tourism product should be celebrated every single day. Now is the time to draw 
inspiration, to draw encouragement from the opportunities that lie ahead, and the significant strides we have made so far to grow our tourism sector and provide good jobs for all Kittitians. It is an indication of what can be achieved through the collective effort and commitment of the tourism industry. Our citizens and our government coming together to create new products, to enhance the services that we deliver, and to reach out in the wider global market and community. Whether you benefit directly or indirectly from tourism, our hope at the Ministry of Tourism is that you will use Tourism Awareness Month 2016 to learn more about our country, to learn more about the business of tourism and the expectations of our visitors, particularly the high-end customers. These undertakings, coupled with our understanding of the value of tourism to the development of our country, would engender a spirit of determination to make the sector more vibrant, more competitive and sustainable for future generations. I trust that the activities this month will stimulate more ideas and initiatives to sustain the growth and development of our tourism sector. And let me at this opportunity and this time to wish everyone an enjoyable and productive Tourism Awareness Month. Thank you. Visit The SKNIS on YouTube to watch informative, exciting, and thought-provoking programs such as Working For You, Current Speeches, SKNIS Exclusives, and much more. Hit the subscribe button to be alerted when a new video is uploaded. What are you waiting for? Head to The SKNIS and start exploring.